Rakkers, 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 welcome back to your number one rugby podcast. Okay, guys, I am excited for a fun-filled episode. Mm. Episode 38. Guys, I am Rudy Pates. And next to me, I've got my salt to my pepper. Yeah. I've got my dishwashing pots hey. to my dirty dishes. Mm. That's spice. That's Juan de Jong in the house. Hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good. What's up? Hey, you Black. good? Mm. I am a I'm good partner. A, again, Rakas, he, he brought me out to his, yes, to his work, yes, to yes, his yes, home. Yes, yes. I said, yeah. It's high performance. Okay. I'm worried about the Emmy. I don't need high performance on the Emmy. I need physiotherapy. I need all these type of things. Is your Emmy all good? Are, are you up and running? Partner, I, I'm as good as gold. Uh, I, yes, I'm, yes, I, I need... I'm running. I mm. am fighting fit. I'm a bit overweight. But I, 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 it's no that. one's okay. business. Don't throw your washing out there like... <laughs> Um, Boyki, mm. first of all, before we start our episode, mm. weekend Easter, was it good? Yes, very good, yeah. So I was in Paternoster, you know, where the Kriya is like the rackers, they're all over the show. <laughs> so that was fun with the family, you know, getting out a little bit, having some me time, you know, a long weekend with them. It was fantastic. Um, and also we had a lacquer, lacquer, you know, we start playing rugby uh, at uh -huh. Hamilton, so we had a good uh, good results again then, but it's, it's about building now for the next okay, couple so of weeks. Okay, so first, mm. first coaching? First coaching gigs, yeah, the, guy, the guys were up and running, yeah, look long, play short, hey, uh -huh. look short, play long, hey. Okay. Oh, all this type of no dishes, gray hair yet? No, no, no gray hair yet. So okay. the guys, a la Leicester. A la Leicester and a la Execute. A la. So it was fantastic to see. So we got a good couple of games coming up. And also in a couple of weeks, we're going to Bloemfontein to play mm, there. Yes. Maybe a little bit of ACC. And yeah, 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 yeah. Work okay. is work. Okay, meet is meet in the man. <laughs> um, Rakers, mm. um, before we get stuck into this episode, yeah. episode 38, I want to I wanna start um, and say behind the rack is powered by Kruger International Asset and Wealth Management. Also in our corner and behind this fantastic two guys with microphones yes. is our exclu exclusive, ooh, ach, ooh. Ooh. exclusive betting partner, Lulabet. Yeah. And there is some exciting news hey. coming soon in the sponsor front. So, um, yes. Yeah. Keep them guessing oh. and entertain them. Hey, that's they a, must know what's up. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> lekker, lekker, yeah. And so partner, exciting. also, um, Rakas, I know you guys, um, a, a week ago, we had a competition for the Sia Kulisi signed ball. Yes. Um, we're going to announce the winner on our social media platforms. Yes. So go this watch. This time, this time, this time. This Get your votes in there. Get your in entries in there. Yeah. Um, go check it out. Mm. We will announce the winner shortly, okay, on yeah. our social media platforms. It's coming. Ah. <laughs> Coming to you soon. Yes, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fantastic. Hey, eh? looking forward to this episode. Have we got a, like a lineup here? Eh? Oh, it's, it's by rugby. Oh, Partner, it's a lot it's, of it's rugby. It's a lot of rugby. Yeah, it's the Crescidakis and the, the Range Rovers, and they're coming out hot. There eh? was so much rugby. I struggled to eat my pickle fish over the weekend. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was like, yes, you yes, love me. Mm. Uh, when, uh, when can I eat pickle fish? Oh, there's curry cup. There's this. There's, there's, uh, uh, it's super all over rugby. The show. There's, uh, you you got to make time for everything. Eh? Uh, it's mm. In life is about making time. It's, it's fine party. time. Yeah, it's, 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 it's tough. But yeah, let's catch up. Mm. We'll get to catch up. But um, give me the lineup. Yes, the lineup is very really simple. Eh? So we're going to start off with our news and our updates. We need to know what's happening um, all around the world. You, like you said, there's a lot of rugby and there's a lot of news, fake news, or that news, own news. <laughs> I don't know, but there's news coming up. And then obviously we got to check the URC results. Interesting weekend. Interesting weekend. Four out of four became two out of four. So we'll check the results as well. And then, hey, we got a little guest in the show. Oh, um, fantastic. Uh, fantastic, eh? Yeah, absolutely. J.C. Mars. Yep. Mars, hey? He's from space, the young man, hey? Eh? He finds space. I trap uh, you in he's, space. He's phenomenal. Eh? He's absolutely phenomenal mm, partner. I'm excited, excited to chat to the yeah, young man. Yeah, excited, eh? To see what makes him tick. And our first young... Man, young blood, <laughs> young blood, man, ten to see. Hey, 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 against the slow down seat belt. <laughs> so super excited to see another Pepe's boy coming in yes. just to chat to us. You know, it's important for us for our rackers to, to get to know him. Okay, it's the start of the future. So um, yeah, get to know him. What makes him tick? Okay. And then also uh, we got a. Uh, it's time for the Range Rover. He's coming That's out. Big games. Investing Championship and also the Challenge um, Cup coming up. Our teams see what teams who they playing. So that's gonna be awesome. And then also Halula bet predictions, Ooh, which is important. We eh? need some work on that partner. Hey, last week yes, yes. we weren't great. Ah, yo, last week ah, our predictions weren't. Sorry, not, Rakers. It's not great, eh? Sorry, Rakers. I'll bet. It's, it's Barry. Ah, the baby shark becomes the George. Ah, ah, yes. And, and Mufasa becomes. Simba. Meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll check that. We'll, we'll cover that and we'll, we'll have our, our, our say in that. But yeah, let's let's start with our news Ooh. and updates. It's it's a lot happening in the world. You know, we we start off by the recent news, which is our uh, Sam Whitelock um, announcing retirement um, from the game. He's obviously playing in France for, for Pau. Pau. 
Pau. There we go. Pau. It's fine if we'll get so to it. We'll get it. Yes, yes, yes. French fries. We'll get it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, fantastic to see uh, what he's done, especially for and all blacks. Servant. Uh, yeah, right, the yo. servant of, of New Zealand rugby in yes. general. Crusaders yeah. and the All Blacks, um, most kept player for them. For them yeah. um, I can't remember when he was injured, to be totally honest yeah. with him. It, it, it always felt like he was on the field, mm. always playing, always being in use. An well. absolute world class rugby player. Yeah, so all the best to Sam Whitelock as well. And then also uh, the Sevens, looking at the Sevens. Um, hey, there's a Hooper. Uh. Uh, he's going to play for Australia, the Wallabies. Australia, Matt. So yeah, um, Hooper is, is obviously going to play for. Um, for for the sevens team uh, in in you know getting ready for the Olympics, um, so yeah, we'll see how we, how it goes. It's Just always tough. I would I wanted to ask you quickly, partner. Mm. What what can I expect that they haven't been in that scene for him in his first run out at, in the seven circuit? What is the realistic expectation? Yeah, so it's always tough, especially when it comes to 15s. Especially when it comes to Olympic year, everyone wants to try it, especially 15s international players. You know, a, a lot of our guys have, have tried it as well. Myself had a go at it. Um, Franz Hoger had a go at it. Brian Abena, uh, Jesse Creel. Uh, there's, there's so much guys, Opa Mohoje as well, that tried it. Um, so he had a go at it as well. So there's a lot of guys trying to make it, but it's always tough. And I had an interview as well, as he says, he's really nervous. And, and, and I mean, when it comes to seven, you should be. It's, it's seven minutes aside, which sounds easy, but the work you have to put in in that seven minutes it's quite tough um, so I'm excited to see how it goes um, hopefully we'll play we'll probably play a prop or, or, or hooker um, just because of his physicality because he's got the pace with his physicality so um, exciting times for them um, Australia has, has, has done well this past couple of um, weeks when it comes to the sevens hopefully with the impact of him can make a massive difference mm. Mm. That's yeah, so and then moving on, um, yeah, a lot of stuff happening as well. There's rumors, I, it's always rumors, especially with our guest of uh, episode 38. Hmm? Uh? He was here, uh, there's rumors he's, he might come back. I had next for ons gesê. I had next gesê nie. Maar is nie de rumors. Okay. Uh, we leave it in the air, we catch let's, it later. Let's, uh, let's, uh, we'll keep let the, it float. The, 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 we'll keep them up to date, yeah. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, um, let's talk about, you know, um, okay, there's, there's the curry cup. Um, there's also rumors uh, about, let's talk about the rumors, that this Curry Cup maybe not happening in June or July, so the my players is, is still in discussions with it, so we'll probably just keep the rackers up to date. I think, See. obviously, we would love to keep them up to date, but I think from for my side, it's yeah. hopefully they, they can find a solution, mm. buddy. Um, it's the oldest competition yeah. in, in our country. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah, the, the what the two it. of us, we loved playing in the Curry Cup. Mm. Winning Curry Cup trophies, I didn't have the privilege, you obviously had, but I think that if if the people in power can do whatever they can yeah. to, to save the competition, uh, I want to encourage them to mm, do that. To do that, yeah. Because it's a lot to think about because there's a lot of competitions. You are seeing into the Investing Champions Cup, into the Challenge Cup, and now the SA, SA Cup, Cup as well. And with the Curry Cup as well, because obviously the players that's playing in these competitions must play in the Curry Cup because the squad can only be that big. So, nice. um, yeah, we'll have to see what's going to happen. But uh, that trophy, it, yeah, it can't go into the museum. Obviously, I'm not smart enough to mm. have the solutions. That, that's why they, they're they sitting in the boardrooms. But, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, I, I trust they will make the right decisions, the right decisions for, for yeah. the rugby in the country. Um, obviously, South Africa playing in the URC, we can see the benefits. Yeah. We can see the, the, the realistic benefits. So let's wait and see. Yeah, let's and wait then and see. We inform the and rackers. then we form the rackers. Lekker. Let you know. Um, ah. Yeah, in Super Rugby, who are you up early? Ah. 7.30, 9.30. Uh, partner, you, hey, know you know me. You, know, uh, you, me. you, you like that New Zealand I love, flavor. I love mm. Super Rugby. It's, I think it's the fact that I can drink my coffee yes. and sit on the couch mm. and... While have an early morning game. I like it early morning love games. It. Huh? Love, love it. Yes. So uh, my favorite team was playing in the swimming pool. Mm. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> fit, the mm. fidget drew. Oh wow. They, everything. They, I just love everything about them. Mm. They get on with it. They play rugby. I don't. I don't know if they complain this, yeah. but it doesn't seem like they complain. They just want to play the game they play and ball, love the yeah. game for all the right reasons. Yeah, and what what they're outstanding at the moment. And you're looking at oh, most of those players, especially that 13, uh, Masi, he's in incredible form. Uh, he scored uh, like uh, sorry, pardon, announced its surname again? Uh, Masi. Okay. Masi, yeah. So Masi scored like five to six tries in the past three, four games. So he's incredible. But uh, I mean, it's the Fijian rugby is growing and it's good to see. But, but you know what? A lot of those guys who played last year got signed by the European side. Yeah. So it's this new blood. There's new blood. Young blood. Fresh flavor Woo! coming through. Yeah. But where are the rugby players coming from in mm, Fiji? Yeah. Because we are loving it. Yeah. Why not visit? Mm. When are we visiting Fiji? We must go. Suva, baby. Who, who do we need to send an a, 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 a email to, to to invite us into Fiji? Do you know anyone there? Yeah, a lot of ex-teammates. Okay. I'll send them an email. Please. Just to see if we can get 
in some cava, fresh cava. Oh, I just want to go see what I want to go to that field and 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 it. That atmosphere, mm. singing, Ooh. the the village flavor, man. You yeah. jumping, jumping with the rocks and you know up the mountains and those type of things. Train mm. moving, nice. Like <laughs> <the mountains. laughs> so yeah, they were incredible. And then all the other teams as well. And it was a big game, you know, Crusaders against the Chiefs. And Crusaders, they shocked us. They said, "Hey, it's time to get that W in 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 the bag." So they got they got a good uh, victory, especially against Chiefs, which is outstanding. Um, the, a couple of good players coming from the Chiefs as well. Like I spoke last uh, last week uh, about Daniel Rona. He's incredible, so we'll probably see him in the rugby championship. But all over, I mean, even in, um, in at the Hurricanes as well, the talent coming through for New Zealand now is incredible to see, especially with the injuries of um, of all the other boys. Yeah, Roy Gatt's injury, the, the oh, scrum yeah, for, yeah, for, yeah. for the mm. All Blacks, obviously um, not good to see because he was yeah, in this fantastic lo- form. Dislocated patella. Oh, that looked terrible. Mm. Uh, uh. So hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll keep you up to date in what the injury report will be. He, but it, it was also nice to see in the same breath TJ Perinara. Uh, most He's kept. Kept, most kept, yeah. Yes. 152 most kept. caps for, for Hurricane, most kept. Tipping um, he's, um, he's Sa- still unbelievable condition partner. Yeah. He's probably not eating the Blue Doritos. And he's second up the yeah. lock for tries as well. Yep. 62. Do you think he's eating Blue Doritos? Huh? I don't know about that. <laughs> 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 yeah, we'll see. Yeah. So it's interesting like, to, to, to wake up on the Saturday, Friday morning and see the New Zealand... Maybe... Uh, is it uh, New Ruckers? Zealand teams? It's New Zealand teams. Ruckers, mm. I had a dream. Mm. I was uh, uh, sleeping, sleep, And maybe the Cheetahs playing. How cool would that be? Cheetahs yeah. in Super Rugby. Yeah. I'm just saying. Sorry. I not, was thinking out not loud. Not good, not bad. In between. You like it, yeah. man? <laughs> <laughs> so, Rakas, let us know. Go, jump in the comment section. Let us know if you watch the Super Rugby. Let us know if you wake up at 9.30 in the morning, Ooh. drinking your coffee and enjoying some, you know, Suva Pacific flavor. And uh, hopefully the cheetahs will be in there as well. Yeah, spice it up. Hey, yeah, come on, no, Not bad as well. You heard it, yeah, first. Mm. And then other rugby as well. Partner. Close to me in Paternoster is Saldana. Saldana. Saldana Super 8 competition, the oh. Easter festival. Incredible. Wow, just to see the, the, the fans, the aura, the, the supporters coming out, supporting the teams. It's obviously played over three days. And um, wow. Community Un- rugby unbelievable. at its best, buddy. At its best, yeah. Um, the, the, the atmosphere, the crowds. Um, you can see the, the amount of passion that those boys play for the clubs. Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's, it's incredible, yeah. So it was a good couple of games, you know, especially when it came to Saturday um, evening, the big game against Saldana and Safko. Hey. They won the competition as well. Hey, they, they, uh, they, they, they went back to back. back. Hey, hey, they grabbo. They did. <laughs> you didn't grabbo. They had a grab you, like, no, they well had done. trophies. Yeah, well done to them. So they went back to back, obviously winning the trophy again. They're obviously the, the Boland Club champions as well. Um, but yeah, it was incredible to see in, in, in the type of play they're playing with. It's 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 awesome. You're looking at the back line as well. Especially, credit must go to their coach, um, um, Coach Willie, for, uh, coaching the back line. It's just the way they're playing. It's, it's not like usually club it's a lot of knock-ons and, and stuff like that. But the type of shape, it's lo- look long, play short. It's, it's triangles, it's similar to Ireland as well. No, huh? no, and, and obviously two players that, that I think we do know mm. that plays for South Call is, is Jurich Klaassen. Yes, yes, oh, Atenia, yeah. Talented, talented, um, Bok, just a big one. Talented <laughs> rugby player, <laughs> yeah. can play scrum off as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. Erlen Klaassen. Mm. Um, yeah. So really good rugby players in that setup. And I, and I just, honestly, for me was the the the... The support they had, the stadium is packed. Yeah. Uh, the people are wearing the green. Green and they're singing the yeah, songs. Yeah, they're singing. Yeah. They Ma, ik wil for Safkol speel. Hey. Hey. Ma, ik wil for Safkol speel. Yo, that hey. is incredible to see. Yeah. Sorry, so me. fantastic. Especially uh, Benjamin and Dwight, that's the captain for them as well, you know, lifting the trophy again. Was just awesome to see. And um, also when they won the Boland Championship, uh, the, the Boland they, League, they, the, the parade. parade. They, they on Quickie. parade, hey. yeah. we must show the rackers the I parade, yeah. The so the Springboks came back and had their parade, but they had it in a different way. So next time, when there's a parade, a grabo, ha, I'll have But, but yeah, partner, in, in mm. all honesty, the, 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 the quality and level yeah. of play at the tournament was phenomenal. phenomenal yeah. um, I think the organization mm. of the tournament, fantastic. Yeah, yes. Huh? So. The sponsors on board. Sponsors the, the, on the, board, The yeah. quality of the, 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 the pitch itself, the surface of the field, yes. the teams that were there, mm, the Babaton, Raiders, Groot Brakrafier, Rafa and Heis van die Suidkaap. Yes. Up you guys, Protocols well was in, in place, you know, the alcohol pro- protocol, 
you know, the smoking protocol was in place. It's just good to see everyone coming out and enjoying themselves for club mm-hmm. rugby. Why did we not get an in- uh, invite? Uh, Why did uh, we not get the invite? Uh, we'll get there. Okay, okay, next year. Uh, uh, Saldana, so next year, uh, behind the rack, or is there? Yes, there, yeah. Or is there, okay. <laughs> to support the boys, yeah. So that was incredible. A lot of news and updates. And Sunday, chasing something. Ooh. Huh? Did you chase that? I did chase it. Yes, I was I'm, chasing I'm the sun as well. Too. Nice, Boyki. It's intense, ne? You know I like to watch it back. It's intense. Back. It's intense. Did you see that? It what stood intense. out for you? Um, and looking at this episode, it was the South Africa versus Ireland episode, which, which is a nice little build-up, especially when it comes to July at Loftus. Um, right? I actually wish that uh, that test series can start next week. Yeah, start the next box week. The against Ireland. Yes, but even the whole weekend as well. We had Leinster against the Bulls, number one versus number two. We had Ulster against uh, the Stormers, you know, number twos on, on, on both sides. So it was a lot of Ireland versus South African flavor. And looking at that episode, uh, it was funny at times, <laughs> but uh, that ending, hey. Yes, I, I, uh, I, I, Super I, Sport uh, obviously left us there with the, something the, in, the, left, in the mouth. I, uh, mm. And it's all over social media, yes. the, 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 the quote. Hmm? See us in Groesse, Dangi. South Africa is the biggest thing. And then, be, and then behind, and then the, behind the rack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you but, go there. But, but I think, partner, mm. for me, actually, mm. um, I wanted to talk to you about it um, to see how the coaches um, um, select the teams. Yes, yes, yes. Um, mm. Because I've never been, obviously, your coach, yeah. you go through that. But it was quite that cool to see meeting, the, the management meetings. Sitting around, you know, um, you know playing chess. Who and now Rassi allow um, certain guys to have a say and, and they opinions, all make yeah. a collective decision. Mm. So that for me is really cool to see from yeah. the outside in. Yeah, to see what's actually working and, and how to do things, you know, getting the senior players involved, getting the management involved uh, when it comes to team selection as well. And the big thing when it comes to the team selection was that 7 1 split. Hey? Yeah, and we spoke about it last weekend, you know. Hey, you, you if, like if, the energy? Hey, hey, we, we got to talk about it because I'm, I'm pretty sure when it comes to 6th of July at Loftus, it's going to be a 7 1 split. So um, hopefully, Quagga will be ready. But if he's not ready, we need to look at it, those type of things. Um, but yeah, it was, it's funny moments as well. It was good moments. It's, Present moments, you know, with Mani, there's these there's little funny moments with the phone call with Andre <laughs> and, and also with Malcolm. When, yes, when yes, he said, hey, give me the laughing cast. I need the pain <laughs> as well, Rassi. Hey, hey, you jokes, hey, Rassi. And just hmm? uh, obviously to see Rassi angry as well. Yeah. Um, obviously after the game, to see him angry when they had the video session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool to see the emotional side, how they react to certain stuff. Um, I must say a phenomenal documentary to the inside of Springbok Rugby. Um, I can't wait for Sunday. I can't wait. I can't wait. So I don't know. I, I don't know. It's in the morning. What's next? You, you, need, you need to come back. Yeah. yeah we've got to see Tonga now. I think eh? it's Tonga now. Eh? And then French fries. Eh? And episode th- uh, three. Eh? So we'll have to see what's going to happen. But uh, yeah, we, we stuck behind the TV, enjoying that, enjoying it with the South Africans and yeah. uh, uh, what it means for South, the Springboks, you know, how important the country is. And I mean, yes, the Springboks is doing a lot to get the country forward. It's important for us now to do our part. Yeah. Let's do our part for the country and get the country moving forward. Nice like the Springboks. Agree. Yeah. yeah. And then also we got to get to the <laughs> important stuff. The results. Two out of four. It's a 50%. Mm? And we're going to start with that, uh, with that Blue Bulls. Wow. At Leinster. Let's get cracking with the Blue Bulls in Leinster. So, Leinster, 47, Bulls, 14. Partner, talk to me. W- w- what was your thoughts? You were in the game, and then what happened? Partner, um, yes, I don't know where to start, to be totally honest with you. Um, some of the people in the gym this week has called me Leinster, and when I look around, they act like they don't know. Um, but for, for 40 minutes, I thought... My prediction last week, yeah, was, was, I thought was spot the on. Mm-hmm. I thought the Bulls played for 40 minutes brilliant rugby. Um, and then we came out of the, 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 sheds. the sheds and it was a complete turnaround. Yeah, it I totally agree with you, especially looking at that first half. You know, had Walker Low and the boys dominating up Scrum. front. You know, showing their power in the malls. With and all the set piece, buddy. And, and, and with, with, obviously with Kanan at, at 13, you played a different ball game. So you played it up in the middle and you kicked a bit of bombs trying to get um, Kanan Moody up in the air. Um, we lost, you guys lost a, a little bit of the aerial battle at some stages. Um, but yeah, I, I must say you guys played well in terms of moving the ball around. But after that, that incident, um, things got a bit edgy. Let's talk about that incident, actually. Because a lot of rumors out there should have been a red card, and then the referee said, especially your department, the referee said, there's no there's head contact, but the body contact. And, uh, well, 
Yeah, it, look from my from my side, party. It's it's difficult to comment on someone else's decision, yeah. right? Um, and it's not a place I want to find myself. To be totally honest with you, um, I think the frustration for for all viewers and, and rugby lovers out there is the inconsistency of the head, mm. of the head clashes. And I think once we can get that on a consistent level, um, we will take that hurt because one team is obviously one team will say the yeah. ref made a good call. Mm. Leinster people will say no, the body absorbed all the pressure. Yeah, it's, it's um, always that the Bulls, I'm a Bulls fan. I would say, nope, direct head contact, mm. no mitigation. What does the law say? Red card. Mm. So um, I think consistency is, is the one thing that, that everybody wants, want, mm. but we also don't want to take the human factor out of it. Yeah. We never want, um, uh, that's my opinion, party. I don't mitigation. think we should take the human factor out of it because then we lose the essence of the game. So um, I, th I don't think we lost because of that decision. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I thought their bench came on and it was all the island players. They made a bigger difference. Yeah. Um, they obviously they had made a, a big difference. <laughs> a big difference. Because you guys had an opportunity to to kill them with 14 men because uh, obviously the, the nine was off. But then that 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 oh, that, that big dog came on, um, Gibson Park, and he made a massive difference. He speed up the ball. James Lowe all, all of a sudden got alive because in the first half it was very quiet and they scored some. They actually, two tries they scored after half time was actually the killer blow and it was and quick it, it was, was it was fast it was within five minutes this is mike tyson tip, tip. yeah and and the bulls were, were, were trying to knock so curtly obviously scored the first try but looking at the, that first drive of curtly as well you know the subtle movement of course when he made the line break the subtle movement of of um Martial, um, just a little bit of subtle bump ag against Van der Fleer to create this space. Those type of things that people don't see was was awesome to see. And then obviously the disallowed try from Kurtley at the end there when he kicked the guy. So that's also Soft. that's also like yeah. a debate. So a lot of uh, stuff to um, it would have been. It was a classic classic test match. You know, having the URC number one playing against the URC number two, other way around when it comes to the countries and the world rankings. But uh, it, it just shows the class of, of, of it, Leinster. It does show the class. And, and partner, I think as a mm. Blue Bull supporter, guys, Rakas, I want to make it clear. We no, it's not because of the referee and the course that the yeah. Bulls lost. I think the Bulls lost because Leinster came out second half. Yeah, they were clinical. They took, the they took every opportunity. Mm. If, if one Bulls guy slipped on a read, they scored. Yeah. Um, so it was it was a good wake-up call for the Bulls, especially going into the knockout stages, partner, yeah. knowing that um, if you make a mistake, yeah, the, the better teams are going to hurt you. They're mm. going to score points, and it's going to be, ah, no yeah. trophies. And so it's a lot of great, stuff. Great wake-up call, party. It's a great wake-up call, and it's a crucial time because there's only five games <laughs> left, and looking at the five games, they've got Munster coming, Osprey's coming, they've got Glasgow coming. So it's a couple of tough games coming Sucks. up. and and <laughs> Sucks. Yes. Game out also not, won't be easy. And so a lot of, uh, everyone's chasing for a top four, actually the top two, and some teams are fighting for a top eight. And, and just on a partner, yeah. I think that it, this game probably showed the importance of playing at home. Yeah. Especially in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. And, and, and playing it against Leinster at Leinster, it's a tough one. Yeah, I know I've we beat them two years ago, that but it doesn't mean um, yeah, in the, in the, it's going to happen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, playing there, it's, it's playing a tough, yeah. I had opportunity to play there with the Investic Champions Cup. Also a late night 9.30 game. And if that crowd it's starts lovely. no, if that crowd starts going, it's something else. So, uh, they've got that edge. Um, but yeah, I must say, um, the Bulls showed everything and gave everything and the results didn't we get move on. Yeah, Rakers, we move on. Rakers, Bulls? Now. Next job. Yeah, talk Let's about moving on. And then 3 o'clock Saturday, the next day, it was the Sharkies, eh? So the Sharks, uh, 23 against um, Edinburgh, 13. It's the one fun of when the boys came out and, oof, did the Sharks, they, they, they showing their, their bite. Let's call it biting the Shark Tank, eh? Yeah, I think um, Masuku, the fly-off, is giving them a bit more direction in, in play. He's a bit more of a threat with ball in hand. Um, he likes to actually have a go at the defensive line, which I really like. Um, I still don't think it's as fluent as the Sarks want to be. I, I still think they're figuring out what way they mm. want to play. They they still you can they won obviously um, their pack of forwards scrummed really yeah. well. They dominated in the set piece Ox and the boys, um, but they're still not fluent. Yeah. Um, and convincing. Great win for them. Great win. It's another building phase. I know they go into a new competition that we're going to speak about yeah, later. The um, 
Just really happy and 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 the bro the past two weeks really disappointing. Very partner. disappointing, yeah. Um, and I thought they they're gonna get a kick, especially with the uh, Duan van der Merwen, Skuman coming back and you know boosting that team. But I must give give credit to the Sharks. They they played well. They came out firing. Um, especially the tries they scored is is incredible tries. Um, it's they didn't that the clinical errors from last week and they fixed that. And once they have the clinical errors and they can build momentum, it, it just looked good for me. Especially Fassi from the back, you know, being man of the match, scoring fantastic tries and looking at the try score that 50 meter try S- same subtle touches of if you look at Jaden as well that subtle a touch of just block. yes he's, he's, he's allowing him he's creating space for him and just open up space so Fassi gets all the reward but at the end of the day it's a, it's the stuff that Jaden Hendricks did that he doesn't have to he can worry about the next breakdown and putting guys into space and stuff like that but he created a space and and that's what the ty- type of teams that actually you can see the Sharks are starting to grow and it's fantastic to see especially playing in the Challenge Cup, uh, you know, they still got a shot, you know. They definitely have a shot in the mm. Challenge Cup. They can actually um, erase, like, eight fear. You've been in school. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. Memories, book. yeah. So they can erase they won the, the Challenge Cup and, 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 and then... Everything's forgotten. Yeah, well, what's you know? <laughs> Everything's forgotten, yeah. partner. So, yeah, so they got a tough one. We'll see who they're playing. I think they're playing Zebre um, later on, but uh, that's going to be a tough one, especially what happened in Zebre a couple of months ago. But uh, we'll get there. Okay. <laughs> Mm. We'll get there. Then, obviously, the game after, mm, Lions, hey. Ooh. Also, we need to have a... With us, um, when, when a dad speaks to his children, mm. you call them into the room, you sit them down in the bed. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. So, when it comes to the Lions game, so Lions played Ospreys uh, away in Wales. So, it was Ospreys 36, Lions 21. So, we, I, I mean, I'm still in the corner. Um, they they no. lost against themselves, in my o- opinion. Fully agree. They fully agree. So, uh, when it comes to the 22 entries, they made a lot of mistakes when it comes to the 22. Handling they, errors, partner. They're getting in Forcing there. Forcing the offload, Five party. meters away and stuff like that. Made it tough. Um, I must give credit to Ospreys as well for, for putting the pressure onto them, staying away, staying seven points ahead, uh, um, 14 th- points ahead. I think the one thing I, I probably didn't take into consideration last week is uh, the returning international players for Ospreys. Yeah. After the Six Nations, um, which made a difference for them, um, but the Lions um, handling errors, um, yeah, unfortunately, they, they, they um, making line breaks and then forcing the forcing pass. Forcing that 50-50. Um, yeah. So, so usually it came off for them and they didn't get the opportunity this week. There's a lot of good players that stood out. I must give credit to JP Smith that oof, he was a, like a rattle See yeah. his GPS meters. That he, 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 he like a, a mess, dear butter. There's a temper ball. <laughs> 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 so it was good to see him running with the ball, you know, giving those offloads, you know, um, uh, playing out the back. Um, the, the fullback, you know, he's also phenomenal every weekend, week in and week out, you know. Um, Chuchuka as well, and, and I mean, that try as well, it was kind of not given, but it was a try. So uh, a lot of positives to take, and they're coming back home. Now they're actually playing in the um, top 16 of the Challenge Cup away. I think they will gonna stay there. I think they're playing Benetton. Yes. But then they're coming back and they've got... Oh, I don't know if top eight is, is, is a far-fetched now. The Leinster is coming to them and Munster is coming to them. He's got a five tough games coming up. So hopefully they can keep fighting and get the top eight. I need them top eight, partner. Um, I, I think they, they still got a fighting chance, partner. Mm. My gut Stuff, feeling yeah. will obviously say Leinster will probably send a, a B team, especially after yeah. the European Are games. You sure? I, I really think so. Leinster has consolidated. They've done it before. They've consolidated um, the top spot now, beating the Bulls. Mm, but so now I'm asking you the same uh, breath. They're sending a B team. Will they not send the Island Boys to come test? I felt where I uh, there's this. too a big gap in between the the, the test. That that doesn't make any sense because they're going back to Europe to train and play yeah, knockout you, phases. You never know. We'll see what ja- Jackie will lie with. Yeah, uh, Jackie. <laughs> I can't see it happening. Yeah, so I usually mean, the past two seasons they've sent B teams yeah. over. Um, obviously, when they do have like a 15 point gap in the, on the log, but yeah, I've, it's something just tells me. Listen, yeah, the, the coach might, you know, Farrell might say, "Hey, go feel it out, man." So when it comes to June, we're ready. It's just a couple of months, but it all depends. Jackie's in control. We'll see what Jackie offers. So that was an, uh, fantastic. We'll see what the Lions is gonna do in the next couple of games, and then the last game, obviously, um, Stormers 13. Seven Ulster. Good, uh, yeah, good game of rugby. Um, the Stormers outlasted Ulster. Um, the Stormers uh, did similar to what Leinster actually did. Mm. They didn't have their best first half. Um, obviously, 
Arsenal landed all the punches. They played, did all the play. They had all the ball. Um, yeah, that looked, first half especially. They looked convincing. Um, with, um, they, they kicked really smart. Alster. Yeah. They played one pot and they kicked across and isolated the wingers of yeah, they were smart. Of, of the Stormers. Um, and then second half, Alster had no ball and the Stormers had all the ball. And yeah. They obviously got the all try, um, yeah. which is an absolute strength of, of Stormers rugby, mm. is their set piece. They, mm. they can scrum. Yeah. They scrum teams for penalties and they can maul. Once they got that penalty from the scrum, mm. they kick to the corner, Manis ko pa dang opi 5 meter eight, and they get a all try. Yeah. No, ah, yes. Mama used to, mama yeah. yeah, I must say, Alster, um, we were actually lucky as the Stormers to be, you know, 7-0 um, down, especially the first half. It should have been 20 the way we were playing. Um, Alster was on top of us. The, the amount of carries, the, I think it was like 50 to 20 carries. It was like 200 to 50 meters gained. So the stats were all against us. So I would expect, you know, Alster having a bigger score. They left a lot of tries out there. Um, but but credit must go to us as well for hanging in there, you know, sticking to the plan, uh, making sure that um, there's a game plan. We stick to it. We know what works. We know what our DNA is, and we just back our DNA. And um, but I must give credit to Alster, the pressure they put onto us, and it's pressure f for my side. But I must say our guest from last weekend, he's been at the Stormers for a couple of weeks, I think for, for a couple of seasons actually. And, and looking at last weekend, it must be something huh? You know, especially when it comes to the pressure they put in the kickoffs. You know, it's clinical stuff. The stuff around the breakdown, you're putting um, uh, Herschel under pressure, Paul DeVette under pressure, not getting us that KBA, um, um, keeping the ball alive, that QB, quick ball, those type of things. We didn't get that. And, 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 and that's pressure because of good analyzing, you know, having maybe cuts off there and, and giving them that edge. Um, yeah, but I think all Irish teams actually play that same way against the Stormers. Uh, Munster played a similar way in mm. the final last year where they absolutely flooded the breakdowns. Yeah. And, and obsolete, I don't know if that's an area where they've identified where the Stormers um, can be stopped. Yeah. Is stopping it at source. Um, so I think Alster played the same way when Mani kicked that uh, two years ago. That yeah. Kick. So yeah, um, yeah. They, probably, they probably feel like, yes, they, 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 they're losing a lot of close ones at, um, at Greenpoint at this current mm. moment. But they, they just lacked something there in the backs. They lacked someone with a bit of spark, with a bit of something. They just didn't have it. They mm. had all the right ideas, they had all the right plans. They just couldn't land the hammer blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was good to see the scrums as well. Hmm. The boys, the friendships, they're going head to head. Yes, eh? yeah. It was obviously the golf partners, Littling and, and Steve, uh, Stephen Kitts were going head to head. And then the buffle came on. And Franz Malad was showing his class as well. But it's, it's just good to see. I mean, they're enjoying it. You know, They're going out there, making memories they're going to remember for a very long time and in friendships like he said like GA um, you know gentleman's agreement so it was go good to see and credit must go to you know a fantastic type of game you know it, was, it wasn't pretty but I must say at the end of JJ Kotze hey credit to JJ Kotze for sealing <laughs> that one hey that it's nice. a 50-22 that was nice if he's, that if, was nice. if he's not gonna hang that in his bedroom hang it in the Louvre do you hmm? think he's watching that clip the whole week uh, uh, yeah, all week <laughs> and he's been like Mani check here check here Mani check here kicking coach uh, there's an option so yeah it was incredible to see in a crucial time you know two minutes to go you know they having that more um, you know getting opportunity to win the game and we just sealed it at the end yeah. so a fantastic couple of games but the Crescida we parked in the Crescida we we're moving on to the Range Rover Investic Champions Cup. Hey? Yeah. It's about that time, yeah. But before we get there, let's talk to the, mm, to the youngster. Yes, mm. two-time SA Schools player. Yeah. Um, two years I in a row, SA Schools. Just is, so young, um, a, a, the future ahead of him. Yeah, I'm going to trap him. Hey, yeah. He's, a, he's a power ranger. Yes, uh, 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 power ranger with a dummy. He's a dummy. <laughs> power ranger with a dummy. So it's more fun time. Up okay. next, Tracy, Tracy Mars. Hey, hey, we're spicing it up. The ruckers, they, it. they never know what's I coming love up. The ruckers, <laughs> hey, yeah, it's spicy, hey, baby. Tracy Mars in the house. Tracy, how's things, eh? Good news, sir. Are you good? Yes, sir. Tracy Mars. Tracy stands for what? ABC, Tracy stands? John Claude. Hey! 
Van David is. Let's go to here. Let's go to So all good now. Currently um, at SAS, um, preparing for um, the, obviously the rugby championship coming up on the 20 and also maybe hopefully the World Cup. How's the prep been going? No, it's been going good. So we had, I think we had, we had three games this past week. Um, I think we had a lot of learnings out of the games. I think the first game was more of a attacking game where we can express ourselves on the attack. And I think that the second game was a bit tough. Um, was more but defensive and yeah. our mindset game and mental and then the last game I think was a combining of both and the set piece mm. so I think then we pulled it through so you see, before we get to the rugby rack because mm. I want to make sure that he is a rucker uh, uh, so you see, are yeah. you a rucker? yeah I can come okay okay we can continue <laughs> Um, <laughs> JC, obviously, um, we obviously very happy that we got you. We wanted yeah, to yeah, have you yeah. on a, f- a few weeks ago. It wasn't possible. Um, we know how important this phase of your life is currently. Um, share to the Ruckers what, what you guys are going through at the moment. Um, obviously, the Under-20 Championship, um, the Rugby Championship yeah, yeah, rugby is around the corner. And then the World Cup. What is your program looking like at the moment? Um, at the moment, it's like 66. And then the Sunday we get off. But we are going the 24th of April, then we're going to Australia. And then we're playing three games against New Zealand, Argentina and Australia. And then after that, we're coming back and then we, we're going to the World Cup. Yes, and you guys will be the first team to be playing in this rugby championship, am I right? Yes, sir. Are you excited? I'm very excited, sir. And, and, and what, what I know what I would be loving, mm. uh, getting on that plane. And, uh, but uh, yeah. what are you looking forward to, Manier? Yeah? No, I just um, want to experience new things. I just want to get better as a player and improve as a player and just be a team guy and just like help where I can and just be positive. Yeah, all the other things will come, eh? Hmm? Slowly but surely. Uh, he's not young. He's not a young partner. He's not a young. Talking about being young, uh, going back, let's take it way back. Um, where are you from? Are you, so you're actually from Paul at... Um, I was, actually, I was actually born in Kills River. Oh, Kills River. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. And then at the young age, then I moved to Paul. And then from then, I just stayed in Paul. Uh, what age was that? Um, around three. Oh, around three? Okay, cool. So yeah. the family is in? Perl. Pepe's. Okay. Pepe's. 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 Um, were you scouted to go to Boise? Was it a rugby purposes? Was it school or just staying around the area? I was, um, I was, I was very close to my house and I also was being scouted to go to Paul Boise. To Paul Boise? Yes, sir. It was incredible, eh? Was it for rugby, the sport that you played? For rugby, yes, sir. No yeah. cricket, no oh, athletics? Um, I, I was athletics. I, um, I threw javelin. Yes, Ooh, what? Yes, oh, sir. Javelin? Javelin, sir. I would have never guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Yes, sir. Um, I, Poland, I was with Poland champ. And Western mm-hmm. came champ, and then um, Issa is then I came seventh. In Javelin? Wow. Yes, sir. And then I also played uh, cricket, but but I only made the winter group at Boland. Okay, so multi talented. Yo. S- strong arm and strong step. Hey. Strong, strong. strong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, and, and your, your, your time at Boyza, uh, boys obviously, Boyza is incredible when it comes to facilities and how they've, you know, the talent around and the, the old Springboks that has been. Talk us through uh, your journey at Boise, um, you know, learning from uh, the senior coaches that you guys have and even the inter, inter schools, uh, the derby. Yes, so um, Boise, I think, was it was very special for me to play in that team. Not only is it a team, it's a brotherhood, so you know your boys got you every every weekend out. Our season was a bit um, on and off, but we fought through everything and we just came back stronger. Inter schools, it was a bit, it was a tough one. Yeah, um, you we played in both, eh? Yes, uh, 2022, and uh, then we won 26-24, and 20, 2023, um, we lost 20-17. Oh, okay, yeah. But it was it was a good game. We were, um, at the fifth hit money, we were 20-0 down. Oh, and wow. th- and then, then I scored, and then afterwards we came back, but at the end it was a bit too late. Okay. Uh, there's always scored. And JC, huh? j- just so the rackets are clear, how old are you currently? I'm now 18. 18. Oh, oh, oh what? 18. 18, okay. Turning 19. Incredible. Eh? So, and, and, oof, young eh, blood, eh? Yes, I love it. Huh? And you've played two years first team. You played SA schools last year. Is there anything that I'm missing currently? Um, I played two years first team, two years Kremlin week, and two years SA schools. Oh, so my goodness. Awesome. That's a big deal. 
Pak eens, pik. Ei, ei, ei. Oké, sorry. And also plans for you. Obviously, uh, you, you're done with school uh, last year, finishing up last year. W- where is JC Mars now? Is he, is he studying? Is he? Yes, I'm studying now. Uh, currently at Studio. Um, I'm bachelor's at the, at, of administ- business of admi- administration, mm. um, and I'm majoring in entrepreneurship and innovation. Okay, uh, that's impressive. I, I was it, I was actually yeah. talking yeah. to to, to Juba earlier before we started shooting Ruckus, and I was like, yes, I could, I can't. I want to tell him because that was my biggest regret, JC. Uh, when we all, both of us we played um, S and twenties, we were early, um, and I never studied. Or I studied, but I I didn't study. Yeah. So. Um, Big regret, and I'm happy you're studying. And, and you must the, continue with it, yes, please. Yes, sir. That's important, yeah. Yes, that's always a challenge, especially when you start young, you know, especially with your program as well. You know, leading into the rugby championship, the SL20 leading up, coming up, um, and especially when you're going to make that, uh, when you're going to make that. But yeah, just just to, to make time for that and, and to make time for the right things. Uh, and, and we didn't have the chance because we started early, and now we want to. It's, it's, it's we, never too late, we actually, both? but. So I see we both are studying mm. currently. Yeah, 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 so yeah. The, it's a warning more than anything else. Yes, yes. Finish <laughs> while you're young and you got the energy. Yes, sir. It's difficult when you're yeah. old. Okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, Love for Rugby, where did Love for Rugby start? Um, obviously, is it in the family? Did your dad play? Um, no, my dad didn't play, but he was, he was more of an athlete. But I think it was the, the passion he had for rugby. And then I wanted to learn more about rugby. And then I think there's my passion like started for rugby. Mm. That's interesting. To, obviously, I wanted to ask you, um, my next question was, growing up, who was your hero? Who did you enjoy watching? Was it more than one guy? Was it the one specific guy that you loved watching on the TV? I think it was more than one guy. Um, it was Israel Falau. Mm. Oh, Israel, boy, yeah, nice. yeah, Israel. Israel mm. Dek. Okay. And uh, then Chislin Colby. Okay. And Israel Colby. Israel. Israel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Jason yeah. Colby as well. Yes, sir. And Geoplon. Oh, Geoplon as well. Yes, sir. All oh, the steppers, the power engines. I was just about to say, mm. all of them, none of them are, are renowned kickers. So uh, I'm, I'm obviously assuming that you love the attacking ability. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And for Laos, um ability to get in the air. Oh, okay. And like the consistency showed every weekend out, in and out, he showed the consistency. Okay, that's I love that. Um, it's actually messing up my questions mm. part of later, <laughs> but all good man here. Um, mm. So Yeros is done. We know your Yeros. We know what type of rugby you want to play. Mm. Um, I want to go back to currently where you are right now. Yeah. What is important for JC Mars right now? Where you, you're 18 years old, you're about to embark on your first rugby championship. What is important for you? What are you focusing on right now? Um, just now to get better at my fundamentals. And just like getting better every day, staying consistent and being dedicated to the sport and to have the discipline. Yeah, because I really want to make it one day and I think it's gonna get it's gonna really gonna take hard work and discipline. So yeah, just to being um staying consistent. And looking forward, especially you guys going to Australia now and playing two, uh, three tough games, which is yeah. New Zealand, Australia and Argentina. Within, it's like you play a game and five days later you got to play again. Mindset around that, being going to Australia, I don't know if you've been to Australia first of all, and just your mindset, you know, in terms of playing a tough game against New Zealand, recovering five days and, and going again, what is your mindset like? Um, to be honest, sir, um, I'm excited. It's, it's going to be tough, but I think we, we, um, we have a good team and like um, we have good chemistry, so yeah, I'm very excited to to play in Australia. So. And and I think, partner, I, I want to make sure that I leave this message with yeah. when you take photos, make yeah, sure that you in, yes, yes. you make memories. Um, I know you're still very young, and, you, and 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 when you're young, you think it's gonna last forever. Make sure you you grasp every opportunity, man. Here, what the fuck, Tiki? As a kangaroo, can you stand? So um, just make sure that you obviously rugby is the main thing. It's the yeah. most important thing. Um, it's an opportunity, but take your memories, enjoy the memories, yeah. capture yes. the memories. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. It's, it's, all, it's all we have at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and also, like, um, obviously you're playing with the scrum cap as well, and you've said Tristan Colby and you have done is your heroes. Why the scrum cap? Is it, uh, is it just because of the concussions? Is it, or is it just... No, it's just a thing, sir. Huh? I don't know, sir. Is, is it when you put on the scrum cap, you just... You get the power. Gabriel, yeah, it's, it's power rangers. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, it's something in the scrum cap, sir. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I don't know, sir. It just takes over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like the force. Something like that. Something okay. <laughs> <laughs> and match day rituals, do you have any, um, you know, what type of music do you listen to? Um, do you always play like in that one underwear that we always speak about? You know, uh, I know, I know huh? sir. Um, before the game, I would always listen to worship. 
Yeah. I think that makes me calm and one just um, gives me um, faith into the game. And yeah, just trying to be positive and just being, um, yeah, just smile. Mm. Yeah, enjoy it, yeah. Yes, yeah. And, mm. and any girlfriends, sorry, partner. Hey, hey, I, hey. Am I allowed to ask this? I think. Oh. Any girlfriends? <laughs> Not at the moment. Nothing, okay. But, but I'm yeah, speaking. Yeah, that, that, I'm that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also, um, so you're playing 15, you're enjoying 15. Uh, I mean, like like you said, now your role models is all pretty much 15s. Um, do you like any other positions? Can you play 10? Do you want to play 10? Do you want to play 13? The 9? 9? Everything is possible nine? nowadays. Yeah. I don't need any. I go for the flail. Okay. I mm-hmm. shall flail dick as I would. But yeah, I'm a fullback, and that's what I wanted to play. But I always wanted to play fluff, but I'm a full, I'm a fullback. Okay. Yes. Man, the book, I Imagine a power range at ten. Huh? Ooh, that would be exciting. Yeah, no. um, but that, that's for another. But that would be very exciting. That's a stroke. Sure. JC, quick question. Give me your metric hundred meter time. What was that? Um, eleven six. 11.06 or 11.6? No, for 11.6. 11.6, okay. That's fast, ne? That's fast, yeah. I think I was like 13.5. So, the little boy. And Jay, just before we finish up, uh, I want to know um, obviously, 15 is your number one position. I want you to build a perfect Ooh. 15 in your eyes. That can be a new school, it can be old school. When you look at all the 15s um, throughout the years, yes, you know, throughout the decades, which one is, is got the best kicking style or the best kick for you? Kicking style, I would go with Percy Montgomery. Percy Montgomery? Yes, sir. That's to poles, that's to touch. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, kick. Well done. Yes, in Eels. And um, what's the other fullback's name? Um, Lee Alfpenny. Oh, Lee Alfpenny. Yes, sir. Uh, in aerial skills? Um, is it yeah, for Lau? For Lau, yeah. For Lau, for, Lau. for, Lau for the win. I, I, can, I, can, I can see it, yeah. Mm. And then it comes to the nitty gritty stuff. Okay. D- defense, come on, talk to us. Defense, um, Damon Willems, sir. David Willems. Gaza. Yeah, Gaza. Gaza, Gaza. That's what Gaza, Gaza is yeah, physical. So it's physical, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then the stuff that you like, we all Aye, like. Hey, I want to know stepping, this one. Hey, huh? We want to know who's the, the best, best? step. Huh? Ah. I'm not going to get you into trouble this one. Hey? It's between Chislin and Joe. Uh, Ooh, okay. So we'll keep it a tie. There's an old school tie? stepper and a new okay. school stepper. Okay. Okay. I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic to see. JC, thank you very much yes, uh, for making the time, for coming out to behind the rack. I know you, you're super busy um, at the moment preparing, especially for the rugby championship, yeah. which is in a couple of weeks. And then also, hopefully, the rugby world cup. If you work hard enough, I know you will get there. But just um, all the best. You know, make memories, like you said, yeah. uh, that you will remember for Please. a very long time, um, for decades to come. And um, stay humble as you as you are. Um, you know, greet people with respect, and 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 as you move forward. And, and the most important thing for my side to take for you forward is just be a sponge, keep learning every day, um, keep learning every day. Make sure that you you challenge your limits and l- never limit your challenges and all the other things will fall into place. So um, for my side, thank you very much. All the best. I know you will do well. Um, I know you guys will bring it back home. You know, it's about time. Yes, it's Come about on. time Come from from Australia, and also when you do get a chance to go to the Rugby World Cup. All the best, man. And, and just really enjoy your time. Yeah. Um, I know you're 18 years old. Have fun, work hard. Um, do not put too much pressure on yeah. yourself. Um, that's out there tomorrow. It's on come you up, okay? Yes, sir. And yeah. we're looking forward to watching mm, forward, you yeah. in, in senior yeah. rugby. And now your next phase of your life will be there supporting you, the ruckus, uh, and make sure that the, the yellow peppies, uh, uh, yeah. th- th- that's now your homework, okay, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. The yes, yellow yes. peppies, must be subscribers <laughs> and rockers, please. <laughs> is that a deal? Pretty a partner? Deal, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, Yellow yes, 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 Thank Thanks you, Thanks for your time, That's how you Buddy. Buddy. Yo, wow. Like to catch up with the young Ooh. man, huh? Lot of stuff, eh? Hey? Uh, just to catch up with him, see what he's about. It's so things. like a humble partner. Mm, Very humble, humble. humble. I love that about him. Um, he looks like a man that's got things under control. Yeah. He knows where he's going. Huh? He knows where he's going, yeah. So it's, it's awesome to see, especially what's... what's What's going to happen in the next couple of weeks, especially for them? With Interesting. The, we, uh, mm. um, obviously, periods for them in their yeah. lives. Exciting period. Exciting. And I wish nothing but the best for yes. them. Yes. They can trap and skive. They must move. At least I know now yes. there is magic in the headgear. The in Power the, Rangers. The, yes, there's a Power Rangers. They know. You let the ultra cheat coat, okay? Yes, yes, yes. I yes. get them all full summa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and let's get to, oh, can you feel it? It's time to bring out the Range Rover. That's, it's Range Rover time. It's big rugby time. Let's take a second and take it all in. Ooh. 
partner. Mm, I mm, bent lekker gereed. Special, eh? In tier is nice, eh? Fantastic to see it's, it's quarter final time. It's top 16 time. It's the best against the best in world rugby action. Say, say that again. Say ah, that it's again. It's the best against the best, eh? Quarter oh. finals time, eh? Of, I love it. In, I love it. I love it. I love it. Fantastic, fantastic competition. But yeah, let's get to the main games. Okay, it's your team and my team. So let's get into action. Lekker. We're starting off with your team, the Loftus Boyki. So the Bulls against Leon. It's um, half past one. As love the sphere, we are at full as in the drop. And altitude, altitude matters. matters. Come yeah. on, boy. Hopefully, it will matter. 130. I, I believe they, it will matter. They're going to feel it a little um, bit. Yeah. I believe my team yeah. will bounce back. Um, I think we'll be really strong at Loftus. Yeah. We had a good two weeks that the boys could spend together. Yes, they could uh, bond. bond um, the, and they'll be hurting. Yeah. Like Rasi said, in chasing the sun, hurting a seer. By Leinster. By Leinster. 47. How many? Okay, sheer okay, And right. it was a strong team from the Bulls. Yes. I know you, uh, you got a little bit of injuries, especially with Cameron Anikom and the boys still coming back. But yeah. But it was our best possible side yes. partner that lost. And I think the boys will have something to prove. Yes. I really think we're going to be up for this one. And I'm actually, I know uh, Leon is, is a good team. Mm. They're a strong team. They got a few Safas in their squad. Yes. But I believe this Bulls current team will be way too good for Leon at home. Mm. Leon Schuster. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it won't be funny. So, uh, so it's an incre- uh, incredible game. Looking forward to it. But and then after that, we'll have the DHL Stormers at the DHL Stadium against La Rochelle. It's a rematch. It's a little bit of a rematch. We know what happened last time. It was a close game. It, it came to the very, very end with Manila Bok. Part of my favorite game of this Investec yes, yes, Champions, yes, yes, this yes, European um, weekend. The I'm looking for this. forward to this one because DHL this Stadium. is... This is the best. This is the superstar Yo, team. Yeah. This are uh, this are uh, prime time, as they as they mm. say it in the states. It's prime time rugby. Yes, teams um, that's in form. You know, La Rochelle left here. Obviously, a little bit of thing. Uh, obviously, too much sushi and you know, lion's head and uh, table mountain. And but it's normal, partner. Mm, mm. I know a lot of teams that come here. It's taking photos. It's, yes, seeing, yes. it's seeing friends and families. Um, the the room service is cheap. Mm. Um, going for <laughs> movies is cheap. Yeah. Having a beer is a bit cheaper. Yeah. Um, and this time around they've seen all of that oh, hopefully they yeah. know the distractions yeah, it's gonna be a so they will obviously oh, keep it close keep it yeah keep it yeah keep the, it but, but on the field as well it's going to be up tight it, uh, you know up front is going to be crucial at the back is going to be crucial you've got like big boys um with with skeleton um Look, but if, if we start in front, it's Antonio. Then mm. we go to Skelton, the locks. Um, it's all international. Aldred it's Gregory is. Aldred. Ooh. It's Lavani Botia. It's Caballo. It's Iaia West. Then it's uh, Jonathan the Dante. Safas, hopefully. Um, it's the Safas, hopefully, mm. on the wing. Uh, it's um, Bryce Doolin at the back. French international. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, yeah. Honestly, it's it's a fantastic... La Rochelle is a world-class team, mm. but the same for the Stormers. Same for the Stormers. I'm going to get good, behind yeah. the Stormers this yeah, week, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see now predictions what's happening. The yeah. Cape Bay side. Yes, it's about time. It's Le Boc, it's Herschel Yankees, it's Paul De Wet, it's Gaza. Um, it's Archiva, it's Daimani. It's Daimani too. It's Boogie's back to his best. And what even Lewis is, as well, yeah, playing so, incredible rugby. So, partner, um, South Africans One to and, look out and for. people around the world this is the game you want to watch yeah. this is the game where it's going to have the closest thing to test Mets intensity yeah no, um, totally agree totally agree One, it's, it's, it's not too much yeah and we're going to see hopefully we can get to the semi can you get us tickets mm? I'll, I'll organize I'll organize I'll put you on the spot for you for you I'll see if I can organize please sir and if I can't uh, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Street credit <pop>. all. <laughs> and yeah, and then we move into the Challenge Cup. Oh, hey, we got okay. South African boykies there. So three boykies of South African teams playing in the Challenge Cup. And we're starting actually the first one. It's also half past one. Uh. And that is Claremont against Cheetahs. Um, partner, I'm, I've played for both teams, yes, obviously. Yes, yes, yes. So very difficult one to call for me. But I think the Cheetahs must enjoy this. So the... The game, yeah, the yeah, environment, yeah. Mm. Um, the start Martial Michelin is a fantastic place to play rugby. Yeah, okay. The atmosphere will be great. It will be both teams are in yellow. Yeah. And um, so I don't know yeah, which yeah. one is going to play in, in what colors, but um, and it should be an exciting team. Uh, two teams who play the same brand of rugby. Mm. Want to keep ball, running rugby. Keeping oh. alive, yeah. So, um, but I don't want to write the cheetahs of partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, me too. Hopefully they can pull it through. They've been looking good in the SA Cup, so we'll, we'll have to see what's going to happen with that one. And then um, after that, also on Saturday, at um, half past six, will be Benetton against the Lions. The Lions. Hopefully we'll, we'll see Mufasa and that Samba. 
<laughs> after last weekend's game. So it's going to be, a, especially that one, with the Italian team looking good, what they've done in the Six Nations, those boys getting back. But but at least for, for, for the Lions boys' partner, it's 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 not an, a different beast that they haven't seen. Yeah, They know what they're getting. Especially, yeah. You understand? The they've USC, played against Benetton. They've, they've played at the stadium. They've seen their footage. They, they know what's coming. They, they know what to expect, tom. yeah. But Benetton is looking good as well, especially with those guys, um, you know, Malakai Fikitua, um, Jacob Umaga. It's, it's, it's a lot of star players, as guys that's been there, around for, for years. Um, and Italian yeah. rugby is doing this. It's, 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 I, I, it's, up. It's, it's up like a jet at the mm. moment. But the Lions, I, I really think... That's going to be a lucky game as well, yeah. They had a hiccup, mm -hmm. but they can't fix it. It's turn a quick turnaround. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, Hopefully. Lions. Let's go. Let's go. And then Sunday, we've got um, Sharks against Zebra, and that's, that's going to be at 4 o'clock on Sunday. Um, They've got unfinished business because the Zebra showed him something, one or two, uh, especially in Zebra. So uh, that's going to be a lack of a rematch, especially when it comes to the URC, but now it's a different competition. It's do or die. But yeah, the Sharks are, they looking, hey, they looking I think like the Sharks a, the target, shark now. The Sharks should target this competition to win it, mm -hmm. everything, to win the trophy and erase the early... Um, they poor start to yeah. the URC and mm. the difficulties they had in this URC. Finish they well. got a clean slate. Yeah, they can finish, finish the year well. Finish well. Imagine you winning this competition. I'm not forget, mate. Hey, hey, what's he know? What now? I get a trophy. Yeah, what's he know? So that's gonna be like to see, but let's let's move into a little bit predictions because it's time to. Sh I want to back. I want to know what's going on with you. What's happening in that Madula Blinga? Let's go. Talk to me, especially with the first game, a Bulls against Leon. Bulls Leon. I'm gonna go Bulls. By 12 at home. Yeah. Who's by 12 mm. at home? That's my pick. I think the boys will bounce back. I'm, I'm on the same boat. Uh, I must say, uh, altitude matters. And 130 yes. is, especially I when it's going to be carving up with the sun and stuff. So, it's a good time, especially for uh, for the Bulls. Um, I'll, I'm also going to back you and say uh, Bulls by 10. Nice. I'm Thank gonna you, go Bulls by 10. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, Bulls. Yeah, it's going to be a crack of a game. But uh, the Bulls is going to be, it's got one over them. They're going to come out, those Leons going to come out with these umbrellas. Remember the last time they had umbrellas? Yeah. <laughs> <Bordeaux. Yeah. laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be a crack of a game. And in the game after, especially our boys, it's DHL Stormers against La Rochelle. Um, I'm gonna, That's a tough one. It's, it's a very difficult one. It, it's a difficult one. Difficult yeah. one. one mm. um, I'm going to go in the, in the, the chasing the sun theme and mm -hmm. here. Uh, I'm going to go with a one-point difference. To the Stormers. To the Stormers. One point difference to the Stormers at home, just because of the fact you spoke about it so fondly, the Stormers know how to win rugby, tight rugby games. Yeah. And that's why. Yes. Uh, especially when it comes to tight games. So you uh. say Stormers by one? Stormers by one. Plus three, I'll say Stormers by four. So it's Stormers okay. by four for me. Like I said, that's, we know how to get through that last hurdle. We showed against Alston yeah. a couple of games before that. So that's kind of the, where the culture comes from. It's kind of where, where the mindset of winning comes from. Um, and, and you guys have Manny Lebok. I mean, the guy, he just loves the big moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves it. He loves it. So, yeah, that's going to be a lack of one to kick. And then let's go into the Challenge Cup. It's, it's three other boykies that mm. also needs to know where they stand with us. Okay. Okay, we're moving with the first one. Claymont versus Cheetahs. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Uh, to the Cheetahs people in Bloom, I am sorry. I'm going to go with Claymont. I think hey. they 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 mm. very proud European team at home. I think they'll be too strong. And I'm going to go Claymont by six. Yeah. Claymont by six at home. That's and my I'm pick. Cle Claymont by three. Clement by three. It's going to be a tough game. Okay. Cheetahs are going to come out firing. But I just think that crowd, you know, yeah, uh, they it's, went it's, to behind it's, them. It's, it's, they just got their tails up. So it's going to be a close game, yeah. And then Sharks, Zebra. That should be an easy one, is it? Sharks, Zebra. I'm going to go Sharks by 18. I think it will be Oof, just a so. big Sharks by 18 points huh? at home. I think the Sharks will have a, a statement game. Um, they will, It will be three uh, victories in a row. Mm. Um, I'm going to go Sharks by 18 uh, at I, home. I agree with the W. I will not go that high. Okay. So I'll just go uh, Sharks by 10. Okay. Sharks by 10 sounds like a nice prediction, especially for me. You know, the way they've been playing the last uh, couple of games, they've been scoring some good tries. They they pretty much um, get over that errors as well. So it's looking good for them. Yeah. Yes. And that's a little bit prediction. No, we but missed one partner. Hey. The, the Lions Benetton. Lions Benetton. I'm going to go Lions. I'm going to go with my heart. Um, I'm going to go Lions by six away from home, and they're going to bounce back strong. I'm going to have Benetton. Huh? Benetton by five. Uh -huh. um, Benetton is looking very good, um, especially with the, the teams, uh, especially in the URC as well. They've got that Italian flavor and they're feeling themselves now. So, um, yeah, I'm going Benetton by five. Benetton by five. Okay, mm. like and the picks, I like yes, it. Yes, yeah. So we've covered all of them. Are, yeah. we, are we sure we covered all uh, of them? I'm sure. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah. So that's our Alula predictions, guys. Um, so hopefully get your predictions. 
chuck it in the comment section. Let us know what you guys think about our predictions. Chuck your predictions in there and we can have a chat. We can yes, chat and, and guys, make sure that every week that you comment and mm. drop your opinion and drop what you think we yeah. must do on the show. And if my English is bad or whatever, <laughs> say it. Say you see. Yeah, say you see. See you see. Yeah, this is the date, man. But it's like date on the like, share, and subscribe. They know what important. time it is. Eh? It's important to like, share, and subscribe. And we got, we know we got rockers from all over the world. Oof. It's 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 Fijians. We got English guys. We see you. We see you. Partner, we see you. And I we had a love. rocker come up to me in Cape Gate from America. Where from where? where, where? America. But where did they come up? In Cape Gate. Oh, Cape Gate. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cape Gate. Yes, from so, America. America. Uh, yes. Talk about the. He said I'm a rocker. And oh, wow. we appreciate you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And share it in the States. That's as bad States in America. That's after the Titan Iceland episode, I think. Eh? Uh, 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 I feel you. Uh, okay. But yeah. And, um, mm. and another uh, rap to a uh, fantastic chicken. episode, episode 38. Um, yes. It, it's yeah, we got love. We got love from all of it. But the most important love comes from. Our people, um, guys, Behind the Rock is always brought to you and powered by Kruger International, Asset and Wealth Management. Please go check out this stuff, mm. especially the youngsters that are watching this episode because of JC Mars. Make sure that you manage your money really well. Yeah. It's so important, especially young athletes. Then also our exclusive betting partner, Lula Bet. Thank you for ongoing mm. support and making sure that the lights stay on from the beginning, the OGs. Yeah, the OGs. Episode 38, eh? Yeah. Oh, fantastic, man. Uh, just to catch up with, you know, JC Mas, uh, to see what's happening and, and, and what the process is with them. Um, it's awesome. And then, yeah, to chili, chili, chat, and spend time with And them. it's a big, it's a lot of rugby partners, yeah. Rakkers, Paya Rugby. Mm. We, we're trying to cover everything. Safkool, geluk met jylle ben. Yes, yeah. Um, Krabbo. Hello, Mavit. Congratulations. Well done, yeah. So that's Sefko. awesome. Um, mm. And then all the best to the Investic Champions Cup teams. Yeah, yeah, Stormers Bella. Best. Yeah. Goeie Melis, goeie Melis, goeie Melis. Goeie Melis, goeie Melis. Mijn partner goeie... Uh, op, uh, op die voorkop. Ja. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's it, Tate. Episode 38. We took it one step at a time. Oh. They don't need to rush. So clear the racks, boys. Hey. Okay. hey, guys. I'm Juan de Jong. I'm Rudy Page. And the rack is clear. Bye-bye.